Here we have a new 2025 Chevrolet Trailblazer. Now this one comes in the RS trim level with front wheel drive. This color is sterling gray metallic. And then we have the jet black with red accented Evotex interior. For the powertrain, we get a 1.3 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine. That's made it to a CVT. Now as we come around to the front end here, ever since we got the slight refresh in 24, still a great look here led headlamps along with the led daytime running lights love the stat grill there that gloss black looks very nice but these are just such good cars because or i should say they sell so well because they're relatively inexpensive and you get so much with them down here we get 19 inch aluminum wheels passive keyless entry on the front and then over here, power door lock controls. We have our power windows. Up, one touch up and down for the driver's side, excuse me. Then express down for the other three windows, power mirror controls. We do get the power lift gate, which is hands-free on this one. Headlamp controls, hood release. We get a manual tilt telescope and steering wheel. And then even the little things like the graphics, I love seeing those there. But here we have our power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar support. Just a nice looking seat. Everything in this is very, very nice. Now this one's stickers for right at 30,585. It's kind of hard to see behind this tent here, but I'm gonna get a close up there. And a big thank you to Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro for allowing me to review this Trailblazer today. I'll leave a link below in the description, but if you're looking to find a Trailblazer in your area, just click on that link down below. It takes a minute or two to fill that out and then we'll get the dealers in your area fighting to get you that best price on one of these. But I have the seat up front adjusted for someone of my size being 6'3 with longer legs. And I can fit back here. Now, I can't fit completely behind myself like I would maybe a full-size pickup, but still pretty impressive. Plenty of room underneath for my feet, and I could probably lean that seat up a little bit if I really wanted to make it nice and tight to fit everybody here. But seat back pockets. We do have a 120-volt three-prong household plug-in. Then the USB-A, USB-C charge port, little storage area there. Look at the front. And then the center seat folds down, bottle holders are there. And then left side, we have a grab handle and then we can hang a plastic hanger hook or a couple metal hangers on that there. Now, if you ever wanna use your child locks for whatever reason, those were manual, you can adjust those there, on, off, on either door. Fuel cap there. And as we come around to the back end, I like the styling here as well, with the tail lamps, very nice. Dual exhaust as well. And there's a look underneath. And there is the storage space behind the second row. Side pockets are here. Top tethers are right there. Now to actually show how the programmable lift gate works, I'll make a separate short for that because it's a process. It's kind of hard to do my normal walk around. So I'll show how that works again in a separate short. And then over here, this will fold flat when the seats are up far enough. And then your lower latch anchors are right in here. So hidden, kind of have to find that crack. Front passenger seat is going to be manual there. So just the seat back and seat bottom can be moved. Love the trim, glove compartment. And again, it's a, it's a simple vehicle, but it also, again, the tech is there. I'll show you that on the radio here momentarily. And to be in this price range is just very impressive. And GM knew what they were doing when they came out with this, the tracks, and made sure everything was up to date. But there's that 1.3 Turbo 3. But let's go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. One quick look. I do like how they did this. Even though this doesn't have the sunroof, people love having this two-tone look. So having that black roof there, 
to go with the sterling gray just makes it that much more desirable. Now hop into the driver's seat here. Leather wrap steering wheel feels good. Love the look and I love the, the black kind of gloss, the piano black trim right here. Makes it look very, very nice. There's the horn. Now over here to the screen, we do get AM, FM, XM, Bluetooth, and then we also have our wireless CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. Single zone climate controls, which are automatic. We can adjust the fan direction, fan speed, temperature, and all that. We also have buttons and knobs down below, but we'll get to that in a minute. And your settings are in here, so you can change your language if you want to there. And then you can scroll down here, change your units of measurement as well. So quite a bit you can do. You have the Wi-Fi hotspot. And then this is one of my favorite things about these newer GM vehicles is being able to go through the gauges. So tire pressure is there, oil life is there, engine air filter life, coolant, battery, and then your trip meter there. Backup camera guidelines follow you as you turn the steering wheel. Volume knob is here, click that to mute. Hazards right there in the middle, easy to find. And then your OnStar is up here. But again, buttons and knobs are down here below for the AC. You also have the three-stage heated front seats, 12-volt USB-C, USB-A port. That's my other phone down there that is sitting on the wireless charging pad. And then here we have the lane keeping system, traction control, auto stop, toggle, sport mode, and then our slippery drive mode there. And then to put the car in gear, grab the lever, reverse neutral drive, and you have your low gear there and you can kind of manually shift that limiter there. And you see in the bottom part of the gauge cluster, it'll sh show you what gear you're in. But this one having a CVT, it just kind of gives you those, those rev points, if you will. Then electronic parking brake, pull up to engage, hit the brake, press down and disengage. Storage there, storage here. You remove this tray and you have a, a deeper pocket beneath that. And there's a look at the back seat from up here. Fold this down, vanity mirror. And then blinkers, high beams, auto high beams. And then we do have our intermittent wipers here. So one time off and then intermittent low high. We can adjust that intermittent frequency here. And then our rear wipers here. Now behind the steering wheel on the left side, we can go through our track list, our radio station presets, and behind on the right side, we can toggle volume up or down. We do have standard cruise there. We can adjust the speed, cancel, forward collision gap alert, or gap adjust is there, excuse me. Heated steering wheel toggle, and then we have voice recognition, mute button, and you can use this to pull up your phone when it's hooked up on the screen, and then this is for your audio sources there, and you can kind of scroll through those and then when you're not in that menu, you can just hold there, change your gauge cluster view as well. So pretty nice. Push button start, finally, key fob with remote start. And next, let's go ahead and take this 2025 Chevy Trailblazer RS out on the road for a test drive. So starting the test drive in this Trailblazer here, the 1.3 and the 1.2, for me, I can never really tell the big difference in terms of just how it feels putting down the power, but the 1.3 is nice. I just wouldn't necessarily pay more for it as opposed to the 1.2, but it's just my opinion. Now, the cool thing about the 1.3 is being able to pair it with the all-wheel drive system and then have the nine speed automatic. Now that's pretty cool. Because I do enjoy how that drives better than this, but this is still quick with the CVT. And we'll see what we can give it here in a minute. So it is Friday and traffic's pretty thick, so 
not really able to give it a ton right now, but I am gonna try and get a second pull here. So from about 55, So not bad. Now this isn't meant to be a race car, it's not meant to be fast, but it does have a little pep in its step and that comes from having the turbocharger. And other than that, pretty impressive for a, a three cylinder engine. Now standard cruise here, adaptive cruise is optional, but this one just has a standard cruise control. 19 inch wheels on this vehicle and still rides pretty well in my opinion and road noise is pretty minimal. Again, with the traffic, not really able to get up to speed like I would like to, but sound acoustics are good, road noise is good, and just the overall comfort is good as well. For someone of my size, I could, again, scoot the seat up a little bit more for my driving, but then the camera would pretty much be directly in the, the visor. But a good overall package, I think, for probably under 30 grand with prices starting to come down. And here at Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Murfreesboro, I think they are offering invoice on these. So a good time to get one now. Now, again, for this price point, I do think you get quite a bit in this Trailblazer from the tech. I mean, you get, I think, 27, 30 in terms of fuel economy, 29.33 is what it is actually. Front wheel drive, which is very impressive. You still have a pretty peppy engine. And again, the space is pretty good as well. And not to mention the heated steering wheel, the heated seats. And I haven't even put in a sport mode. I'm gonna see what that does. Definitely revs a little hotter. No one's behind me, so I'm gonna give myself a little space. Let's give it a pull. It certainly wakes it up, because I only have my foot down a tad. But again, just the tech you have with the lane keeping system, being able to go through several different drive modes, something that's extremely fuel efficient, we even have a wireless charging pad. I mean, you can't beat what you get here for the money unless you're looking at a Chevy Trax. But I do feel like you get a little bit more with the Trailblazer, the RS specifically here. The interior is a bit nicer than the Trax. I mean, it's an eight grand difference between this and a comparable LS at least. So, I mean, that's a big factor. And I think Chevy really did hit the nail on the head there, just offering the tracks, offering the trailblazer to those budget conscious buyers that also want something that's everyday usable. If they don't want to necessarily step up to an Equinox. But I will say Chevrolet Buick GMC of Murfreesboro offers a lifetime powertrain warranty on these. Again, I'll leave a link below in the description if you're looking at getting this one in particular in the Middle Tennessee area. But if you're outside of this area and you're looking to get the best deal on one of these, definitely make sure you check out that other link down below and fill out the information, takes a minute, and fight to get you that best price on one of these in your area. But again, the Trailblazer, even in 2025, still holds up pretty well ever since it was first released. And with all that being said, this will bring me to the end of my review of this 2025 Chevy Trailblazer RS.